How are you guys doing? It's your girl Silly Smoke Bang, the Mark Bang News reporter here out on the YouTube stream. Now, guys, as you guys could read, yes, Be Lost Life and 1980 have dropped a video, and the video is saying update on Dolphin. Now, I'm going to watch the video right now. I did not see it. They just dropped it like how many minutes? Like minutes. Minutes. Minutes, minuto, minuto. They have just dropped the video. And I'm going to be watching it and if I have like any commentary or anything I will let you guys know about this situation they look very sad in the thumbnail and I'm very curious to hear what they are going to be saying and of course for the people who does not know what the situation is that I am talking about is a situation about their son Dolphin um, Dolphin uh, have moved apparently very very young um, already from their from his parents Nate is not it's not the biologic father, but Nate apparently have raised Dolphin with a very very young age. So you can practically say Nate is definitely the father and all of that. And uh, they have another son, Darius, and Darius also live in a different state, and he is also doing his own thing with college and all of that. So Dolphin had a relationship with um, another girl, and the girl name is Ellie, and we all know Ellie here out on the YouTube street. Very beautiful girl. Um, yeah, she gave us the vibe of a relaxing, calming, uh, very humble, very nice, and very um, you know polite. No, all of that, you know, that that's the vibe that she have been giving to us. But um, they have separated and apparently this is a very ugly separation. Now, I have said also in my video that I feel like that B Loves Life and they definitely need to go to Houston where his son is and try to figure out and try to help him even if he don't want. Like you guys said, you guys are parents, go there and, you know, support him um that was my opinion that's how i felt i don't know if they have gone there but that's what we're going to watch in this uh, video also um apparently um dolphin himself have dropped a video and say that he is in a dark dark um he's in a dark place in his life right now uh, the video sounded very very sad and all of that he even asked all the reporting channel and also the t channels to take a break and not make any video so um i'm making this video just to report you see i'm going to be slightly delighted and politely and friendly about this whole situation of course um silly smoke bang here over here we support the family because we always talk about the family and all of that we have a commentary we have our judgment a little bit you know they have put their life life out here on the youtube street and people are definitely going to have their opinion and all of that but we are not here to be bashing the family just give our opinion you know this is just our opinion not to bash nobody everybody's going to do what they want of course on their own channel but i'm not here to bash the bill of life family i'm not here to bash dalvin i'm not here to bash ellie it's a very unfortunate situation the only thing that a lot of us feel like this is all fake because it comes over in a kind of fakeness but if this all is true this is very very sad and if dolphin is really going through what he says going through i feel like pillow's life and they need to definitely take matter because it's it's like they like what they do they like they like to do youtube but they have been grow into it and that is because of pillow's life pillow's life have started his youtube channel got very very famous here out on the youtube billionaire millionaire she have become she have set his family through it now dolphin have his own channel darius have his own channel you know even nate has his channel what while he's not doing absolutely nothing on the channel but uh, everybody who got in touch as friend or as a partner relationship any family that got in touch with b loves life has a channel so i feel like you know 
the children has a channel and it's a little bit because of Bilal's life and all of that. I feel like even though it was Darius idea, that is the younger son, was Darius idea for Bilal's life to start doing mukbang. But yeah, they have started it. They have put it on the ground. I feel like they definitely need to support the children. So let's get into this video. So guys, apparently a lot of people have reached out to Be Love's Life to know if Dalvin is okay and all of that. Apparently they have a uh, search to see um, if Dalvin is okay, but apparently Dalvin is a very, very private person. I don't know what you're talking about, Be Love Life. I don't care. I, I know. Listen, this is how I feel. My children are still young. And I know some of you guys have left a message and say, still is when the children i'm sorry i'm eating some marshmallow in, in between and between so you guys some of you guys have said silly listen when your children get big when they get older they want to continue with their own business and this and this and that and this and that i'm like like in the state of mind i am right now i i if my son or my daughter make a video like this on youtube and i'm, I'm by her door i am at her door i am in her house you better open the door because i will call police I don't know, break the door, let me in. Even if it's for one second, 10 minutes, half an hour, or one day, I am at your door. I will stay in a hotel, and then the next day we'll figure out, and then the next day, if you say, okay, you know, it's enough, then I will go home, but I will be there. I will be there. Mm -mm. I would think that, you know, sometimes kids are like that to their parents. They don't want to tell them everything. They're sure. not going to be, you know, upfront. I don't care. Be. I don't care what you listen. Even when they are small, they don't like to listen to their parents. There's a lot of things we do. We say to them they don't like. So what about when they're big? It's the same story. You guys need to go to Dolphin. Even if you don't like it. Even for 10 minutes. Even if it's for 5 minutes. Children don't like to bother their parents. Children don't like to bother them. I never loved it to bothering my parents. But I would have loved to have my support of my parents. I would have loved for them to, to show some interest in, in, in anything. Oh, yes. So apparently they have to make a phone call. He promised B that he's going to call B. And then B told him, listen, now you promised to call me and this and this and that. So what? Now, B, B, then Dolphin said to B that, no, I'm not, I don't want to talk right now. And they say, I understand. I understand that too. But let me tell you. I will be in his house. You don't need to talk to me. I will sit in front of your television. I will watch your television. I will cook in your kitchen. I will go to your toilet. I will go to your bathroom. You don't need to talk to me as long as I am in your presence. For you to see me as a parent is concerned about you when you're ready to talk. If it's two days or three days or four days. If you're ready to talk, I am here. Right here. You don't know what the guy maybe is crying maybe he's thinking some but he just literally said he is in a dark place in his life me i don't know am i exaggerating am i am, am exaggerating people i don't know i will be there i will be i don't know i can't i can't no b no b come on now you and they should have been there you guys are still home hey this make me so sad eh I'm good, mom. I just don't want to talk right now. And I, I said, okay, that. I understand that. I respect that. So I just want you to know, you can tell you guys he is good. I thank you guys so much for the prayers. How do you know that he is good? B, B, how do you know he is good? You're at your home. He at his home. You don't know. He can tell you on the phone he's good. But is he really good? Hey, Jesus. So, hey. We know how they, we raise them. However, when they go out into the world, we don't know everything. Okay? Right. We don't that, that, that's 100%. You're never going to know 100%. But B and it, listen now. Hey, Jesus. This is the thing. I, I hope you guys, because I know you guys have is looking at us that is doing our commentary, that is doing giving our opinion. I don't know if you guys are looking at us as a joke or not serious, or you guys look at us like, oh, you guys are content creator. You guys are just want to make view. You guys are looking for clout and all of that. Listen, guys, you guys are B Love's Life and Nate. You guys are the B Love's Life branch. We are right in this sector. You guys are the mukbang. You guys have started this mukbang community. From this mukbang community, you guys are, I. this is how I feel, guys, that 
I feel like when something like this is happening in you guys' life, it's definitely a sad moment. And it's not only for you guys, but it's for everybody that is investing themselves in your guys' life. Everybody have a little bit emotion, um, a sympathy, in a kind of way, everybody is living with you guys through this situation. And I know that you guys are not taking us serious because you guys are seeing us as T-channels, content creators, looking for clout and looking for that. But I want you guys to know that there are some of us really concerned and we gener generously concerned, honestly concerned. And when I'm telling you, be lost life and age, where you guys are just sitting there wasting all of this time making this video, you guys should have been now, should have been now at Dolphin's house. And me, as the mother of this boy, I don't care. Listen, I, listen, I don't care if you don't want to talk. But I will be sitting in your house waiting till the moment you want to talk. Because I can remember when I was a child, you need to go back. I don't know how B Love's life have been raised, but let me say my part. That I didn't ever want what my what I was doing. I don't know. I don't want. But when I'm in my sad moment, when I'm in my struggle moment, even if I was in my darkest moment in my life, I would have loved to have my father and mother backing me up and be at that moment for me to have somebody to talk to. And it doesn't matter if if doesn't tell you guys, no, I don't want to talk. Leave me alone. I'm a, no, no. Go there. Go look it with your own eyes. Hey, Jesus, so before they they get to a place where it is now okay you, you're, you're broken you have uh, felt that conviction and you are ready to change repent whatever um so we just as parents just are patient you know you just have to be really patient uh in the prayer process and never lose your faith in it and that's, that's for sure Nate. that's for sure in jesus name for real that's for sure but i feel like you guys should have been there you guys should have um i feel like a kind of laziness a kind of oh this is not important that is how i feel this is how you know I, I, I maybe you guys are not feeling like that maybe you guys are but, not feeling like that but i think you guys are forgetting what is the most important things in life it's like sometimes you do things without your knowledge i feel like you guys are doing this without your knowledge like you guys need like a wake up call a, a wake up shake for you guys to realize what is definitely important right now the most important thing is dolphin you guys should have packed your bags at least for two days and went to dolphin let everything for what it is any appointment anything family and especially your children is very very important now i'm not saying that i am perfect in my educating my children but i feel like any moment any time in life when somebody comes and give you guys advice you know, sometimes it's nice to have a listening ears and just sit back, listen and think about it. But yeah, it's, it's up to you guys, you know, but, but I feel a kind of way about all of this. You're not too far gone or too far, far off where God cannot pick you back up Never. and remold you, reshape you with Never. the clay. And watch out when he do it. Cause you're going to come out much better than you were before it all went down. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be looking at that situation five years from now mm -hmm. saying, I'm so happy that that happened yeah, in my I'm life because it caused so much change and transformation to occur. Mm -hmm. And um, I just pray that, that. That part that Nathan B. Love's life has said, I want everybody to listen and listen to that even 10 times. It doesn't matter which state or what are you going to. God never put nothing for nothing you through anything that you cannot go through it. There is always a reason why God put you through it. And let me tell you, the way you're going to come above and on top of it, you are going to look back and be like, damn, I am happy that I have been through what I have been through. And that made me the person I am today. Hey, that is so, so true. But... But for you to have that experience, you have to have to give your life to Christ. You have to. There's always someone at fault in a breakup, period. Yeah. People can say, oh, it's amicable, amicable, it's whatever, whatever, we grew apart, whatever, you know, all these, uh, it's always somebody all these things that people say. But in reality, there's always someone who is at fault. In I don't think it's only someone. I think it's both. I always see like in a problem, in an issue, there's both sides of the problem. I never see something one-sided. So I, that, that's my opinion. I feel like, you know, I think they both have something that have contributed it for it to have end. So I don't believe it's only one side. That's what I believe. So in this video, they also talk about um, 
I'm really surprised to hear them also say this because I just was talking about this. And like I said, also, I'm watching the video just, just now. So I'm giving you guys really, really my first, my first reaction <laughs> for this video. So, because I just, I'm just watching it and I'm reacting on it. And, uh, as I go in the video. So, uh, Nate and Bilos were saying that they do understand that when they put things on YouTube, you know, people are going to take it and run with it and this and this and that. And, uh, what they, um, trying to understand is that you know they're also saying that you know at least know the details and know what happened before you uh, go and make a video to, for commentaries and also for the views and for the this and this and that now we have been following you guys and supporting you guys and you know for so 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 many years some people since the beginning some people you know in the middle name it and all of that this is a community a mock band community that you guys have started and you know people it's definitely going to make videos if something like this happen people are definitely going to make videos have their opinion but also have um, advice you know um i know you guys i take you guys advice of uh, god and all of that you know sometimes god work through people and i know it's difficult for you guys to trust any youtubers and any commentary channels and all of that but you know some of the commentaries uh, video um commentary uh, channels or um t channels sometimes you know they talk about this to make sense you know you guys come see like like you guys have bring ellie you guys have bring ellie in the scene everything was happy 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 duppy 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 now things went bad now we all are seeing this all of this we are emotionally invested in all of this now you guys are leaving us like oh what how what happened of course people are going to assume and um and conclude their own conclusion like oh what would have happened what do you think would have happened why would get blah, blah. Well, of course because you guys have never came with no details don't have to don't have to but don't be surprised if people are going to make their own story um to um satisfy themselves to go through this emotion because no matter what it is a kind of emotion that now everybody is going through it everybody was loving the videos with with ellie and zeddy chong chong all together everybody laughing everybody giggling and now ellie is gone and now it's now it's not even like this broke up was a little bit like what was soft it was a little bit hard because you know message went set on 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 on, on uh, instagram and all of that it's not like you guys have keep it privately also so i feel like you guys don't need to um shuffle or shift everything on one side you know but also you, you be loving it also take accountability also for what you guys are putting out here and expect everybody to sit down with their mouth quiet it doesn't work like that come on now him and then i called him when i did and um i text him so i text him a few times and then he told me what he told me so i just want y'all to know that he's okay he's fine and yeah i thought i just owe y'all that video because i'm sure he's not gonna go back on video and say anything he yeah maybe for a while because he didn't really so listen guy i cannot get over it that Bila's life and they did not pack their bags and went to dolphin I i'm sorry this is my opinion guys i i still believe that Bila's love life had to go personally to dolphin even if dolphin didn't want to talk i would be just around maybe walking in houston and then come to the house and you know if he wants to talk he talk we could have like a mother and son they go out to eat or anything we don't need to talk about the situation at all and all of that if you don't you know i, I don't know I, I i don't feel this i don't feel this you know this is my opinion i don't feel it's right that be life and they are still sitting there and texting and sending yeah I, it's not good it's not good in my opinion so guys, I went through the video of Belong's life and Nate, they did a video together and it's an update on Dalvin. I ugh, I feel so sad about this whole situation. Uh, my prayers go out to the Belong's life family, especially to Dalvin. I'm going to definitely set a special prayer this Sunday at my church uh, for Dalvin. Um, so you guys keep on praying for Dalvin. Don't give up. And um, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right but i still feel like that um b should have been there you know in life you know in front of his face to face and um, it's never too late so hopefully they are still going to check him out so guys uh, yes guys um yeah i said i'm gonna back off i'm backing off like maybe one step slightly politely and delightly friendly and respectfully um and uh, i'm gonna see how this is gonna go um i really want to see the other videos that he's going to be dropping is it a mukbang or whatever he's going to be dropping so we're gonna wait for the other videos yes guys um yeah so guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching you should go see this mukbang the mukbang news reporter here out on the youtube street and like i always say god bless everybody stay blessed everybody and you know it
See you guys in the building. Bye guys. Doo doo. Ahora.